Hi everyone, today we're going to go through uh, a bulk asset replace tutorial. So if you've got a route that you uh, previously made and you want to update it with some content uh, or you might have a lot of content floating around in it and you want to replace some of that content and you don't want to do it one by one because it'll take forever, uh, this is the tutorial you want to watch. So what we've done is uh, we've gone through and we've downloaded a bunch of uh, trees that we're going to use in this example. We've also downloaded the uh, North Bay County route from Narrow Gauge, which is a really good route. It's from Trains Simulator 2006, and we're going to update that. So we'll start Trains. And it's, it's going to be just an example update. I'm not going to update it and keep it like this and release it or anything. So don't, don't think uh, the things that we're, we're updating are... Uh, let me just turn the, the sound off in our menu. Uh, don't think the things that we're updating are going to be permanent. So it's just an example. But it gives you a good idea of uh, how to use the tool. So here we are. This is a fantastic little route. Uh, by narrow gauge and what we're going to do is we're going to replace some of these they are 3D trees but they're using uh, very low res textures and they're a bit ugly so uh, you can see some of the, one, the existing ones from trains 2012 have been replaced in Tane already automatically because the keywords have been updated so you do have some speed trees in here already <coughs> Excuse me. You'll find that'll happen with a lot of the content on the DLS. It'll slowly start to update as we or others start to update their content. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick a spot, maybe somewhere around here. Looks good. And let's find some content to update. So we pick this one. It is a Jeffrey Pine 3.25 meters. So we know we obviously want to replace it with a pine if we can find one. So we go up to main menu, bulk asset update and replace. Click that. Now here you put a list of what you want to update or oh, replace, sorry. So we want the pine, we drag that over. And you can drag as many things as you want in here. For example, if these all existed in the route, we would uh, be looking at all those when we use this function. But we don't really want all them, so I'll go back to the thing that we want to replace currently. So we put that in. Then we put one asset in here, asset to replace with. Now, I just happen to know what I'm going to replace this pine tree with. And it's a tree radiata pine and I'll pick the first one as you can see there's four different ones there and they're all just different variations maybe we'll pick number two no no we'll go with number one because I might need number two and I just want to remember which one I used so that's the one we're going to use to replace this tree here and all the rest of them in the route which is anywhere on the route which is what we're going to do but the other options are in the current section only and that means as you zoom out you'll see the the section we're in is this section here so we're right there and it will only replace for that section if you select that option or in uh, selected area gives us a little marquee tool to be able to select an area as well if you really want to limit it to those sorts of things. I'm going to replace it in the entire route because our route isn't overly big and even if it, even if it is it doesn't take all that long to replace this stuff anyway. Another good thing to remember is to tick the randomly rotate scenery objects so that if there's lots of these objects around or right next to each other you don't get them all rotated in the same direction. It just starts to look like a, a bit weird. It just doesn't happen like that in real life. So. Randomly rotate scenery is a good idea. Um, that's all the options we need for this update, but there are uh, other options that I will go through. Randomly move 25% of the scenery objects to a new layer. 
So if you wanted to uh, move them to another layer so you can turn them on or off or work on that particular layer, uh, it, you can definitely do that and you can choose the percentage of how many, how much of those objects you want moved to that new layer. 100% obviously moves them all. Zero is kind of pointless, but sure. Uh, randomly delete 20% of scenery objects. So this is a good one if you've got a really dense route and you want to uh, speed performance up. So if you're chugging along at 15 frames a second and you find you've got a million trees, instead of going one by one and deleting them, you can turn that on uh, and have whatever in the list here. You can have multiple things and hit begin and it'll go and cull 20% of those objects around your map randomly. So it won't look like there's big patches missing, it'll do it randomly. Uh, and you can scale that up and down as well. So that's a really handy tip um, if you've gone a little bit overboard on certain uh, assets with maybe a big copy paste or something. But that's, uh, that's really handy as well. Like I said, we don't need these two options. We just want to put what we want to have replaced in here, what we want to, um, uh, what scale we want it replaced as, and the object that we're going to replace it with. So I can, uh, again, I can have multiple objects of different kinds and it'll all replace it with this tree radiator pine. But I only want this one for now. Okay, let's hit begin. Um, maybe you'll see it happen in the distance if I get a bit of a view. Begin. So there we go. Everything updates. And that's it. So now, we can see, as we fly through the map, where all those other trees were sitting. Right, so that's one pine that we've replaced. Uh, let's have a look at what these type of trees are. Actually, we'll try and keep that same view so you can see it all being updated. So let's pick this tree now. Okay, I don't think we've got any of those trees, but we might have to substitute it with something. Uh, I don't need session rules, sorry about that. And bulk replace. We put the tree in that we know we're going to replace, which is that one. We then jump into our tree list that we've downloaded. And we we can just go through and obviously have a quick look and see what looks similar. Because I don't know trees that well. But... Uh, Obviously, you'll spend a bit of time researching what you want to put in there. Uh, I think... I think a... I think it started with a P. Tree. P. One of these ones, perhaps. No, that's definitely not going to work. One of these ones. No, they're not... They're not uh, good a quality as I would like. Interesting. Hey, Jeffrey Pine. They didn't look like the pines we replaced before, which were Jeffrey Pines. What's this one? Hmm. They look similar. Maybe we'll use maybe we'll use them. Again if we don't like it. We put this in here. And we and there's none of these that exist in the route. It's probably worth checking before because what we're gonna do is we'll replace it randomly rotate in the entire route. Begin. And yeah, that's definitely not what we want. It's not big enough. So what we do is we put this one in here and you can leave that in there if you want I'm pedantic so I'm going to take it out and then we replace it with another one so no nothing there we don't want I don't think we want that one it's probably a bit small as well what are these ones too big I 
must be one around here that we can use. What's this one? They might work. Okay. Let's try that. So, we put that in there. Point anywhere in the route. Randomly rotate. Begin. There we go. Goes and replaces those trees with those ones. And you can see we've still got a similar kind over here. That will drop in. And we'll use the other Douglas tree. Tree D. Number two. Uh, begin. There we go. So we're getting a lot of these older trees replaced with the with the nice new ones. Nice new speed trees. Oh, there's another one there. And as you start to replace stuff, you'll find uh, you don't you might want to replace it with something similar. Perhaps you want to update it uh, with uh, a new type of tree. I'm going to use another radiator pine. Uh, let's go with number three. How does that look? Yeah, number three. Why not? There we go. So now I've got a few different pines around. Uh, we've got these dead trees. Even though they're not too bad. Um, well, at a distance. As you zoom in, there's a bit pixelated. So let's replace it with... I think there is some other dead trees here, but I don't think we're going to get something as, as similar to those. Just remember it's Burnt Tree 17, just in case I want to change it back. And then we'll find a tree dead. Well, it's not a gum. Should have probably downloaded some more trees. Let's try dead too. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, it's definitely dead. They look a bit weird that they're all together like that. So we might just make it dead one and leave like that. All right. And again, if you don't like it, you can easily go back to the tree that you had originally uh, by just replacing the one that you updated. So, uh, other things you can do is you can replace the ground texture. So if we zoom in on the ground texture and we go, oh, it's okay, could be better. Uh, for minimal effort, instead of having to go and repaint everything, we can get the texture. It's a sweet grass too. So, just to make sure we get the right one. Sweet grass too. We want to find that one, and let's update it with maybe a, I think TS12 textures are fairly high res, have normal maps as well. Let's go maybe a grass long, or a, is there some kind of rocky, this one, what's that? Grass dark, rocky ground, okay, pop that in there. Replace ground texture rotation and scale. Enable to replace ground texture rotation and scale as well. Okay. Uh, replace ground texture rotation and scale. I think we want to keep the rotation and scale. Um, it'll be interesting. Let's. I'd like to do a comparison. I'll do that offline. Okay, so let's just say yes. So that's now updated it. Uh, it's uh, right. It's it's done it exactly how it uh, it would be on the ground before you replaced it. So it's used the scale and the rotation. If I turn that off, uh, and maybe I can replace the same one, it will scale it to a default scale and rotation, perhaps. Nope. Don't know. I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, yeah, so you can replace textures, you can uh, replace track, you can replace trees, scenery, uh, locomotives, anything you want. So it's just a quick way uh, to allow you to update a lot of assets if you've got plenty of them for floating around in your routes. So 
I hope that tool will be uh, high up there on your list of updating when you are updating your route. So, thanks for watching.